Hey guys, so um, today I'm doing a bit of a different video. Um, I've been reorganizing my bookshelves, so you can see all the books on the floor over here. Um, there's various stacks everywhere and in front of me here, but um, I wanted to reorganize it with you guys because I thought, why not? Um, so I've kind of done it by category. There's like various stacks for each um, genre, sort of. So I'm going to read for you like the ones that are up here. I'll insert like a picture so you can see. Um, but I'm not going to take these ones out. I think I'll show you each one down there individually, but these ones I probably won't. Um, these are all classics and Vonnegut. Um, okay, so if you want to see my full Vonnegut collection, there's also a video you can watch about that. Go watch it. Um, I talk about all of my Vonnegut books and kind of give a short summary of each. Um, and so this is a little more updated than that because I have read a few Vonnegut books since I filmed that video. Um, so yeah, so I've got Slapstick, Player Piano, Galapagos, Slaughterhouse-Five, Sirens of Titan, Palm Sunday, Welcome to the Monkey House, Cat's Cradle, Bluebeard, Jailbird, Breakfast of Champions, God Bless You Mr. Rosewater, While Mortals Sleep, Look at the Birdie, Mother Night, Dead Eye Dick, Armageddon in Retrospect, and then I have the Vonnegut Encyclopedia, which I'll show you here. It's pretty cool looking. Um, it's this huge encyclopedia that has like every character and symbol and various things in each novel. Um, so that's my Vonnegut. Um, then moving on to classics. I gotta get up here for this. Um, okay. So my Shakespeare, I have Macbeth, Romeo and Juliet, Much Do About Nothing, A Midsummer Night's Dream. Um, then I have Lord of the Flies by William Golding. Um, I have my George Orwell. I have Animal Farm in 1984. Um, then you've got my Ray Bradbury. I have Dandelion Wine, The Illustrated Man, and... The Martian Chronicles and Fahrenheit 451. Um, I should do a Bradbury video. Let me know if you want me to do a Bradbury video and I'll do a Bradbury video. Um, then I have Brave New World by Aldous Huxley, um, The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and Other Famous Tales by Robert Louis Stevenson, um, The Age of Innocence by Edith Wharton, and The Bell Jar by Sil Sylvia Plath. Um, okay, so that's that stack. Then I have Great Expectations by Charles Dickens, Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, The Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne, um, Candide by Voltaire in both French and English, um, Catcher in the Rye, which is one of two copies that I have, uh, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest by Ken Kesey, the Great Gatsby by F. Scott, F. Scott Fitzgerald, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain, The Stranger by Albert Camus, and Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry by Mildred Taylor. Um, yeah, so those are most of my classics. I'm going to get my classics stack and show you all of those now. Um, <clears throat> so I think I have two stacks of these, but... Okay, so we've got... Life of Pi by Yann Martel, Les Miserables by Victor Hugo, which is in English. Well, you can't see anything in this lighting. There we go. <laughs> um, Heart of Darkness and the Congo Diary by Joseph Conrad, Catch-22 by Joseph Heller, Ernest Hemingway's A Farewell to Arms, um, some Ernest Hemingway short stories, The Old Man in the Sea by Ernest Hemingway, Gone with the Wind by Margaret Margaret Mitchell. I was going to say Margaret Fuller, and that is not right. Um, Giovanni's Room by James Baldwin. And then I have one more stack for you. <laughs> These are just what I consider classics, too, but um, it's pretty arbitrary of a genre, but, you know. Um, a Tree Grows in Brooklyn by Betty Smith, A Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burgess, Harper Lee's Ghost at a Watchman, another copy of The Adventures of Huckleberry, Huckleberry Finn, uh, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, Alice Walker's The Color Purple, The Alchemist by Paul Coelho, 
Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. A Good Man is Hard to Find by Fl Flannery O'Connor. Maya Angelou's I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings. Which, I don't know if this is a memoir and I should put it in memoirs or not. I'm really not sure. Living Well is the Best Revenge by Calvin Tompkins. The Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank. The Freedom Writer's Diary, Beloved by Toni Morrison. Things Fall Apart by Chinua Achebe. The Boy in the Striped Pajamas by John Boyne. And Their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston. I think I'm going to do contemporary fiction next, so check back in in the next video if you want to see all the contemporary fiction books that I own. Woo! Okay. Bye. Thanks for watching.